What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are using everybody's favorite fire monkey. We got ourselves Infernape for rank regulation age. Now, when it comes to Infernape, this Pokemon hasn't been too great on the rank ladder, but now that regulation age is here and we actually had time to start using regulation age teams, Infernape is actually pretty solid. It's quick, it has great moves, it could deal big time damage. So we're gonna be using it in today's team, trying to grab some wins for you guys and showcasing the power of this Pokemon. Let's talk about this Pokemon. It's a fire and fighting type Pokemon with the ghost terror type. It's got blaze, it's got focus ash, and it's got fake out, foil blitz, close combat, and coaching. So you can do big time damage with your two stab moves. You can fake out and flinch. And on top of that, you can support other physical attackers such as King Gambit or Choice Band Dragapult with that coaching. Really get after it. I really do like this set for it. Now, other Pokemon on today's team features our support Pokemon Electabuzz. Now, Electabuzz, pretty solid with Vital Spirit and the Eviolite as item. It has Thunderbolt, it has Follow Me, it has Taunt and Protect. Again, you're really just there to support your big time hitting Pokemon, allowing them to get off some extra turns and some extra damage. Our final four Pokemon feature King Gambit, Rillaboom, Primarina, and Dragapult, like we already mentioned. Dragapult's got that choice band doing big time damage. King Gambit's a great Pokemon to counter intimidate Pokemon, such as Incineroar. Rillaboom's doing Rillaboom things, and then we got Primarina chilling there with Haze, alongside with Hyper Voice and Moonblast. So, nice special attacker that can take away stat changes. Guys, wanna run the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's hop into match number one, showcasing Infernape in ranked regulation H. First match coming at you guys, and it's actually kind of funny. We're going up against Electabuzz's counterpart, Magmar. They pretty much work the same way, just have different abilities. They're both rocking Eviolite, they're both rocking Follow Me, basically both rocking Taunt. Just a nice little support Pokemon, both of them. So, counterpart, Electabuzz versus Magmar here in match number one. They also have Baxcalibur. They got Rotom Wash, Dragapult just like us, Rillaboom just like us, and then on top of that, they got Crocodile. A little bit of Crocodile action, but how are we going to play this one? Who should we actually lead here? Because I kind of like the Infernape. I think Infernape's going to be good, and I think I do want to end up leading that. So I'm going to end up leading him with Dragapult. Now, one thing I do want to check out with this Dragapult is going to be its speed. And yeah, I was going to say, I'm hoping it's maxed out, and I was hoping it was Jolly rather than Adamant as its nature. So it could get the... Uh, the speed boost rather than, than the attack boost. But I might still want to do this. I say we, I say we go into that because I might want to coach up here and just try to do some nice damage. But I wonder who they're going to lead here. Is it going to be Rollboom? I only got a couple seconds left. We're going to go King Gambit. We're going to go Rollboom of our own. And we're going to lock it in. I probably should have went Primarina. Yeah, Primarina actually looks really good up against a lot of these Pokemon. But I was kind of in a rush there. So I should have went Primarina over King Gambit. But King Gambit can work wonders here as well. So I'm down. I'm down with the squad. So Dragapult and Fernape out here for lead. I could fake out. I could coach up. I could just straight up attack. But they're just going to go Rillaboom and Crocodile. Which I mean, I don't mind. Um, I'm going to have to fake out the Rillaboom here. I am going to have to fake out the Rillaboom here. Because the problem here is this thing outspeeds probably. I mean, I could attack. But I'd rather just fake it out. Let's be honest here. I do have Focus Edge, which is really good. And you are definitely going to outspeed that Rillaboom. So yeah, I'm going to fake him out before he can even fake out us out. So we don't have to use our Focus Edge. And I'm just going to rip a Dragon Darts here. Choice Band Dragon Darts can do some damage. So I'm all about it. So we're going to fake out the Rillaboom. Hit it up a little bit. Make it flinch. It was probably going to fake out into my Infernape. And Dragon Darts is now launching. So one landing in the Rillaboom. And one going over to Crocodile. Doing great damage. Oh, half damage Crocodile. Crunch is going to fly, which... I was hoping he would have went for a ground move there, but Dragapult is going to drop out. So it looks like it's Infernape time. It looks like it's Infernape time. So Rain's going to help him out a little bit, get back HP, and I could just go robe him of my own here. And just fake out, maybe swap into King Gambit. If I want to. If I want to. I could just go for a foil, but see if we can KO this roll boom. I feel like there's definitely a shot that we can KO roll boom. I really do. I could just go for a close combat because close combat would probably KO Crocodile, but I think I'd just rather go for Flare Blitz. Let me see this real quick. Let me, let me see you real quick. Attack's 156. I, I would hope that I'd be able to KO Rule Boom, so I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for the KO there, and I'm just going to Woodhammer down on this Crocodile. It's going to be my play. I'm just going to Woodhammer down on this Crocodile because I know Grassy Guide probably won't KO. Actually, it might. But I could see, also see a swap or a terror type, which is why I think Woodhammer is probably the play. 
So I'm gonna go for that. I'm hoping you KO Infernape. I'm hoping you KO here. I'm really relying on you here. And you do get the job done. I love you. I love this fire monkey. Big time KO. KO in the grass monkey. So which monkey's better? I'm gonna take some recoil. He's probably gonna go for a ground move. There's EQ. Not gonna KO my roll boom. Probably gonna KO my Infernape. Actually, no, the grass train really negates a good chunk of that damage. Now Woodhammer can fly. I could end up hard swapping. Um I could end up hard swapping what's called if I have to. Infernate. Just to get fake out back and that attack stat back. Could be good for us, but we are gonna get back a little bit of HP, which is good news. I could go for coaching here. Depending on who they have, I could just coach up the Robin. Get that attack and defensive boost. They have two physical attackers, that might be the play. Dragonpult's gonna be one. Okay. And Rotom's gonna be the other. So Rotom's not really posing a threat to my Rollboom due to its typing. But the problem here is you are going to outspeed me. I would like to try to go for coaching. You probably go for Dragon Darts instead. And I think I U-turn this turn just to pivot out and get my fake out again next turn. And maybe force him to Terrastalize. Let's see, because you're gonna go for Dragon Darts. You're gonna go for Dragon Darts. We're gonna U-turn pivot here. Just so we can get fake out back in back in order here. This Dragapult's looking rather annoying. I'm hoping they don't Terrastalize that because I would love to just Sucker Punch. I'm kind of hoping they would Terrastalize the Rotom here. And there goes the Shire type. But go into the Rotom, please. Please and thank you. Gonna be Rotom? It is gonna be Rotom. Okay, so that's pretty big for us. He is gonna go into Electric Terror. Just help out from that Grass weakness. Um, That's fine. I mean, Inferno is probably dead here, right? Yeah, Dragon Dart's gonna finish him off, and ooh, that's doing some nice damage. That's doing some nice damage. Rotom, can you KO my Rotom? I don't know if you can. I really hope you can, or you can't. U-Turn's gonna come out here first, and this is actually good that U-Turn comes out here first, because I get to bring out my boy. I get to bring out King Gambit. Now, I'm hoping that this Dragon Pool is like ours in his Choice Band. It kind of seems like it, the amount of damage it just did. And the reason I want it to be Choice Band is because then I could Sucker Punch and pretty much guarantee us hitting that. And if he's Choice Band, then he doesn't have Focus Ash, so... Not bad so far. We're going into King Gambit. We're gonna reset our Fake Out option here. And we'll see how this one plays. Let's see what you got. And they're just going to cancel the match? Or did they lag out? I don't really know. But I'm going to guess that that Dragapult was choice banned. And we were going to win this match. So guys, that last match, our opponent did lag out. I ended up getting the win on my record, which is absolutely amazing. But I, to be honest, I think we win that match no problem. Because I believe that Dragapult was choice banned. And if it was, we bring out our King Gambit. We bring out our Rolboom, we just fake out the road time slot, we sucker punch the Dragapult away. And then it turns to a 2v1, which I definitely win that match, no problem. So I'm chalking that up as a win. 1-0 for your boy. We're going up against Snorlax. I love me some Snorlax. I think it's such a dope Pokemon. How are we going to play this one? I do have Punchy Monkey to uh, actually KO Snorlax and actually KO a lot of these Pokemon. Well, not a lot. I mean, Titar and Snorlax. Gonna be big time damage. So I'm gonna go in with Infernape here. I think Dragapult is another solid lead for us. It kind of looks like they could go like Final Gambit Trick Room. But I'm cool with this lead of these two right here. I do like both of them. Dragapult with the Choice Band always works wonders. It does have the Ghost Terror type with Terror Blast if we want to. Or I could just Phantom Force away. A lot of different options. So I'm gonna go in with the same lead. Um, who should I bring for late game? Probably King Gambit's looking pretty good here. Especially because you have low kick, don't you? You do have low kick. So yeah, King Gambit could be another fighting type move for a few of these Pokemon. And then last but not least, we go Rillaboom or Primarina. Rillaboom's looking nice. We're going Rillaboom, especially because they have a uh, Amoongus. And having grass type Pokemon up against Amoongus is really good because they can't be spored. So if we have a feeling they're going to they're gonna spore us, we can just swap into Rillaboom, kind of just like neutralize that. I just like him. Plus I have U-Turn on him, which is pretty solid. Pretty solid. So let's see who they end up leading. It could be Final Gambit on the, uh, not King Gambit, on the, uh, Annihilate, which could be annoying, and it kind of looks like it is. It definitely kind of looks like it is. Um, now the question is, can you use it in the Ghost-type Pokemon? I think you can, because it's, it's technically a status move, right? Is that what it is? Is it technically a status move? Do I try to coach here, or do I just attack? 
I'm gonna try to coach. And if I can rip a dragon darts, that'd be nice. That'd be nice. You could just go for Rage Fist, but I think you're Final Gambiting. I feel like there's like no good way around Final Gambit. Especially with this Pokemon, because you can't fake it out and just like try to stop at turn one. And he's, he's just gonna go for Final Gambit. So Final Gambit pops over here. Brings me down to Focus Ash, which is awesome. And honestly, I didn't know that Focus Ash works with Final Gambit, so I'll take that all day. I'll take that all day long. And you're gonna pop a Trick Room? Is that your play? Dragon Darts comes out here first. It's gonna do solid damage. And now I get off this coaching. All right, cool. So you're gonna pop Trick Room. I'm gonna be plus one defense, plus one on attack, and... Hmm, and you pop Trick Room. A little scary. I'm kind of scared here. I do have Ghost Terror type, which is good, but who do you bring out here? Especially in Trick Room, Strolax? Is he going for like Belly Jump Strolax here? Is that your play? It could be. It could definitely be like Thick Fat Snorlax Belly Drum. It could definitely get a little scary, but I'm coaching, I'm coach boost up, which is good news. I wish I had Protect on this Dragapult too. That's the problem with the choice ban, like Protect is so big up against Trick Room, I'd love to just waste out a turn. But they're gonna go into the next Pokemon. It is gonna end up being Titar. I get a close combat off. That'd be pretty massive, but I don't think we're going to be able to get off close combat. I'm going to try. I'm definitely going to try, and I'm just going to stick with Dragon Darts here. Do I need Terrestrialize? No, we're fine. You could have Fairy Terror type with, like, an E. I doubt you have it with T-Tar. But I'm going to send Dragon Darts. I'm going to send close combat. I'd be very surprised if they go for, like, follow me or something and allow my Infernape to get off a turn. That'd be a little wild if you allow my Infernape to get off a close combat here. That'd be bonkers luckily my dragon pole is plus one on defense and we still die out to that wow i didn't think we would die out to that i mean he is a little lightweight he's gonna pick up the double ko here with the knockoff there's psychic okay so we got king gambit we have um what's our other pokemon king gambit and roll boom which is pretty good for us i mean one hammer can do some big time damage we do t uh, take away terrain which is nice and they might be forced to hard swap in DD. I'm not sure if they're going to do that, though. So I get to bring out both of these guys. Uh, chances are they're going to Terrastalize. They got to Terrastalize at Titar. And swap the in DD. But who would they swap in DD in for? I would think it'd be like Snorlax, right? Milo or Amoongus Amo 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 sounded pretty... Pretty devastating. But I doubt they bring two support Pokemon when they were final gambiting. So I feel like it's got to be Milo or Snorlax. I feel like it has to be. So I think for this turn, we're just going to fake out. And if I can, I'll just go for Kalthar Cleave in this slot. Yeah, I'm cool with that. We're going to fake out the T-Tar. Just try to waste out a turn or two of Trick Room. So there's the Witch of Indeedy. Who's your final Pokemon? I was going to go for a Low Kick here. Predict it being Snorlax. And it is. I should have went for Low Kick. But I played it safe and just went for Kalthar Cleave. The fake out gonna do that. Count that gonna launch. Do respectable damage. And he's gonna flinch here. Alright, so we still have Terra. And looking at Pokemon they have, who would rock best with Terra? Who would rock best with Terra? Everyone's gonna get back some HP from the terrain. I'm gonna fire Terra here, which wouldn't be good for you. And your Terra is flying, which honestly, both of them aren't that good up against Sitar. They make us both weak to rock. So right now, just keeping our terror type is definitely the play. Um, gonna go for a Woodhammer. And I think just, we gotta launch a low kick. We gotta launch a low kick. So he ends up withdrawing on T-Tar. So Woodhammer's gonna KO in DD. And I wonder if he's going for Belly Drum this turn. I doubt it, right? I don't think he's ready for low kick. Low kick can do some big time damage. It does more damage the heavier the opponent is. And he's got Heat Crash, so Fire actually would be good. Heat Crash, we're going to be able to survive, which is nice. Low Kick's going to fly. It is going to pick up the KO onto Snorlax, which is massive. And there's no need for us to Terrasalize. We're going to pick up a KO here onto Ndidi. This is a solid matchup. Do we die to Recoil? I don't think we will. Yeah, no, no shot. We die to Recoil. And everything's looking pretty solid. Again, they have Terror type, which is definitely a little scary. If I had to guess, it's got to be Flying Terror into this, uh, 
into this T-Tar. It's got to be Flying Terror. And to be honest, what's called might be slower. King Gambit might be slower than, uh, than T-Tar. King Gambit's slow Pokemon. 78. His attack stat's so high. So he sees that we have low kick. He sees we have, like, Wood Hammer, all that good stuff. Um, I feel like, for the most part, he has to go into Flying Terror. We're going to go for Wood Hammer regardless. And we're just going to play it safe with Iron Head. We really are just going to play it safe with Iron Head. Because Iron Head's still going to be uh, stabbed super effective. And we're going to predict him Terrasalize. And yeah, there it is. And there's no need for us to Terrasalize. So we still have Terra, but there, there is just no need for it. There really is. There really isn't. But he ends up going into a Grass Terror type, which is decent, actually. Actually pretty good. And Iron Head's actually going to go first and trick him and do great damage. Should we get a flinch chance? We do get the flinch. <laughs> we do get the flinch. That's hilarious. Um, we do decent damage with that wood hammer. Honestly, another iron head will KO. And Milbum's just going to drop out to recoil damage. It would have died out to the buffets anyway. So Sandstorm's going to buff it. The T-Tar now. And that actually benefits us. And Trick Room's gone. So all we have to do is soak up a shot. Do we Terra now? There's no way you go for Rock Slide. Because what moves could you have? Knock off? Terra Blast, which would be Grass. Knock off Terra Blast, Rock Slide. Protect? Well, you're probably AV'd. I don't think Terrasalizing is our play. There's no way you have a fighting move. I'm just going to go for Iron Head. We maybe should have Terrasalized. I wish I would have known. You have Brick Break. Okay, we survived that. I love you, King Gambit. I love you. I love you. Thank you very much. Should have Terrasalized. Should have Terrasalized. I couldn't think of like the fourth move that it would have had. And I was thinking low kick, but I was just like, I don't think he learns low kick. But it was Brick Brick all along. But hey, we still ended up soaking it. We're sitting 2-0. We grabbed ourselves a winning record already. Final match coming at you guys. And we're going up against Mimi Mimis. Mimikyu over here. Love this Pokemon so much. Hate versing it because it's just such a strong Pokemon. But this looks like a Trick Room squad, right? Vaporeon, which is kind of off meta. King Gambit, M Mimikyu. Um, Gallade, Sinisha, and Ursaluna. Ursaluna just screams that it's a Trick Room squad, but, um, who should we end up going into here? We could go Dragapult with Choice Band, but I'd probably rather go, like, late game Choice Band Dragapult, which could be nice. Um, I could start coaching up, like, King Gambit. That could be pretty good. Hmm. We do have the lovely Flying Terror, which could work great up against, um, Ursaluna. Hmm. Who's going to be that Trick Room setter? Probably Mimikyu, right? Most likely Mimikyu. Yeah, I'm going to go, go into King Gambit and Infernape here. I like that the best. And then in the back end, we could go in with Electabuzz. Oh, dude, I really don't know what I want to do here. Primarina Rollboom? Primarina Rollboom makes the most sense. I like the bus would be solid, but I just think Primarino Rollaboom is just great for late game, especially wasting out Trick Room turns. We got Haze if we need it. <clears throat> we got Fake Outs. Fake Out works wonders there. I think Primarino's got Protect, right? I think so. <laughs> I think it's got Hyper Voice, Fairy Move, Haze, Protect. So that's nice. But Mimikyu Ursuline are going to come out here. He's definitely just going to protect the Ursuline and try to set up Trick Room. We might honestly just want to double down into Mimikyu here rather than a Coach Up. I think I'd rather just go for Flare Blitz and Iron Head here. And just do that. Because I think Ursaluna is going to protect here. I think we're just going to fake it out. And if not, we might be screwed. But yeah, I'd rather just Flare Blitz get rid of this guy than Iron Head. And then go from there. Because again, I really do think this Ursaluna is probably protecting. Thinking we're just faking it out. He's just going to withdraw. That's, that's fine. That works too. So which else Ursaluna? As long as we don't see a Terror type come out here from Mimikyu. Or protect. We're going to be fine. And that looks like we're going to be fine. So get rid of this, guys. you got to be going for Trick Room. Unless you're going for Play Rough. I mean, that would work. But yeah, you're going for Trick Room. Iron Head now flies. Bye-bye, Mimikyu. Great call on our end. Great, wonderful call on our end. So bye-bye, Mimikyu. We waste out another turn. Well, we don't waste out another turn. We just don't let him set up Trick Room. So Sin is just another Pokemon that can set up Trick Room. At this point, I'd rather just like coach up here and get that defense boost. Or I could just Flare Blitz. I think getting those defense boosts is going to be in our best interest. So I'm going to do that, and I'm just going to go for Kalatak Leave. Little bit of Kalatak Leave action. 
with the coaching boost. The Sinisha could rage battle. I think Sinisha is going to be the terror type here, correct? Yeah, all day. The Sinisha is going to go into a nice, lovely terror. Probably, what terror type are you going to rock here? Fairy, the most perfect one. I should have stuck with Iron Head, dude. Iron Head would have been awesome. A nice little terror type for us. Protect comes out from King Gambit. That's fine. We're just kind of just going to sit here and coach up our our King Gambit. I mean, that plus, that plus one attack and defense boost. Beautiful. So they're going to finally get off that trick room. They do have Ursa Luna. That's actually going to launch to about negative six damage. And trick room is here. So trick room now out and about. I might end up hard swapping uh, Incineroar here because having the fake out is just going to be so big for us. It really is. Having fake out is just going to be so big for us. So I'm going to hard swap Infernape for Roll Boom. We still have Focus Ash and I'm just going to launch an Iron Head into the slot. Or I could just low kick you down. Because what's Sinisha going to do? Go for Rage Powder? Yeah. You know, we're just going to stick with Iron Head here. We'll play it safe. So I'll hard swap Infernape. I'll get my Fake Outs reset because, dude, I can buy two turns of Trick Room with Fake Outs. <laughs> like, it's it's huge. So I can Fake Out with Roll Room. I can U-Turn out. And then I can Fake Out with Incineroar. So I'm going to get out my Roll Room right now. It's Roll Room out on the field. Iron Head's going to launch. And that's kind of weird that you were going to go Iron Head into that slot. That is weird, into the fire slot. And we're going to take out Sinisha. So I got Fake Out ready to roll again. I am just going to launch it into the uh, the Ursa Luna slot. You can protect, you could stay in there. And then you're just probably going to just gonna KO my roll, boom. And I'll get out Inferni. I like where we're sitting. We still have Focus Ash on Inferni, which is good too. Alright. So three turns left in Trick Room. Fake Out 1000% has to come out here. So fake out you, and we'll go for a low kick just to deal some damage onto King Gambit. So I'm defense bulked up right now. I do also do have an attack boost, which is great. And he's going to finish off my Robo. That's, again, totally fine. We got another fake out user coming in hot. <laughs> we got Infernape coming in hot. So there's that. Ursuline is going to flinch. My King Gambit's going to go drop a low kick and just dump on their King Gambit. Awesome. Dope. And now I just bring out Infernape and win the game. So a 3-0 perfect record coming your guys' way. I got you guys covered. We killed it today with Infernape. We killed it today. We saw a Prima Arena, which is like perfect. Which is so perfect. So from here, just a nice little fake out into a nice lovely low kick. And I think they just cancel match. That's GG's. We dominate this one. I mean, they're probably still going to stay on the field and be like, hey, Ursula can maybe get us to win, but... It's just not happening because we got fake out again. <laughs> fake out again, baby. And we still have focus, Ash. Like, this is just an easy match for us. Slow kick. Gonna end up picking up the KO. And King Gambit going crazy with low kicks today. Doing a lot of damage. Infernape being clutch as well with coaching. Flare Blitz close combat. You can't go wrong with it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Infernape in ranked regulation H. This team was fire. No pun intended. This team was absolutely amazing. Infernape going crazy, faking out. Foyer Blitz Coast Combat, coaching we used a couple times as well. King Gambit definitely ripping up today with low kicks, Caltacles, all that good stuff. The only Pokemon that we didn't really use was Electabuzz. We brought Primarina into the final match, but we didn't use it. We used Rillaboom and Dragapult, which Dragapult is so strong with the choice band. Just doing a ridiculous amount of damage with Dragon Darts. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.